a group of seven uh, finance chiefs put more aid on the table for Ukraine, set up a new uh, supply chain initiative, and vowed to fill regulatory gaps in the banking sector in a show of unity on global geoeconomic issues after three days of talks. We call for an immediate end of Russia's illegal war against Ukraine, which would clear one of the biggest uncertainties over the global economic outlook. A settlement statement following the gathering in Nikata, Japan. Uh, aid for Ukraine to early 2024 was nudged up to $44 billion in a move that enabled the International Monetary Fund to approve $15.6 billion of support over four years. Now, the leaders also flagged the need to stay agile and flexible on economic policy amid heightened uncertainties for the global economy. F uh, central banks will ensure uh, inflation expectations remain well anchored and will clearly communicate policy stances to help limit uh, negative cross-country spillovers uh, that communicate out it. Uh, the finance ministers and central bank governors from the U.S., U.K., France, Germany, Italy, Canada, and Japan have little trouble agreeing on a wide range of topics from banking and sector woes to debt, restructuring in a lengthy communique that had largely been written ahead of the meeting. According to people familiar with the matter, uh, the communique offered some support for the U.S., uh, drive to reduce supply chain dependence on China while also reaching out to the global south uh, to show the group of rich uh, nations can take uh, concrete action to their benefit while the G20 struggles with uh, divided opinion. Uh, officials from emerging economies like India, Brazil and Indonesia were present at the talks. While it's not unusual for non-member countries to attend G7 leader summits, this is the first time since 2009 that invitations have been extended to financial chiefs. Um, the need to ensure global financial stability was a prominent theme following the uh, collapse of um, Silicon Valley uh, Bank and, uh, and First uh, Republic Bank and, and the takeover of Credit Suisse. While the impact on G7 nations, economies, and financial systems has been limited, it is not a time uh, for complacency. German Central Bank Chief Joachim Nagel said in an interview during the meetings. We support the Financial Stability Board's ongoing efforts, including for bank prudential and resolution frameworks to draw out lessons learned from the recent episodes and the consequent priorities for its future work to enhance financial stability, the statement said. And the world's top economic policy makers said they would closely monitor developments in the banking sector and stand ready to take appropriate actions to maintain financial stability. The financial system remains resilient. Policymakers will work to address data, supervisory, and regulatory gaps in the banking world. Uh, the finance ministers and central bank governors also said they would address vulnerabilities in non-bank financial intermediation and tackle liquidity issues in open-ended funds uh, uh, trade disruptions were also high on the list of concerns at the, with the gathering uh, with implicit regard to, uh, to China. Uh, finance chiefs proposed a new partnership that would be open to other nations, uh, as previously reported by Bloomberg News. Uh, aimed to launch the partnership for resilient and inclusive supply chain enhancement arise. By the end of this year, at the latest, the communication it indicates growing concerns among the G7 over China, uh, given its role in supplying and manufacturing for the global economy. While the U.S. is pushing to reduce reliance on China, uh, some European countries took a more nuanced approach. Uh, European Union uh, Economic Commissioner uh, Paolo Gentiloni warned that a decoupling from China presents a risk for global commerce. Uh, and what we're talking about is not closing our trade with China, uh, but making our supply chains more secure in some strategic sectors like rare minerals, uh, Gentiloni said. And so, an interview on the sidelines of the gathering uh, to build consensus beyond the G7. Uh, finance chiefs were careful to include other nations in the conversation uh, with a session dedicated. Uh, to pledging more support to lower 
and middle income countries uh, and uh, helping them secure resources uh, from uh, IMF facilities. Uh, the communique named Zambia, Ethiopia, and Ghana as countries that have recently made are expected to see some progress under the G20's so-called common framework. Um, the joint statement gave a nod to recent developments on the Sri Lanka deal led by Japan, France, and India. The Free Chair Nations hosted a virtual session of the inaugural creditors meeting on Tuesday with 26 countries participating. China, who is Sri Lanka's biggest bilateral lender and has been at odds with other creditors, attended as in the bad side. And the biggest the U.S.'s difficulties in avoiding a federal government default cast a shadow over the meeting. Uh, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen said Friday in a Bloomberg television interview on the sidelines of the gathering that the federal government will have to renege on some payments and Congress doesn't raise the debt limit. In a Saturday interview, Yellen said she expects to update Congress within the next two weeks on how close the federal government is